Hello everyone, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create and set up your Amazon storefront. So first, we're going to take a look at how Amazon looks like in general. This is how the Amazon dashboard looks like. And let's say that you want to take a look at some product. Let's say that we're going to take a look at this product right here and we got the store. It's called MWB. And here is how the store looks like. And let's take a look at one of their product. If you scroll down, you're going to be able to see on all of the product that MBW customer are oftenly seeing or oftenly viewed product by their customers. And you can also see on the product that are related to that items. But if you scroll all the way down, you'll be able to see Amazon's recommendation on brand that are similar to the one that we've just seen. And sometimes it's not a good thing for a business owner. So let's say that you sell a specific product and then because of uh, Amazon recommendation, people ended up buying the stuff from other stores because they're more interested on these products instead. Now you can prevent that by creating a, an Amazon storefront. Basically Amazon storefront is something that looks sort of like this, where all of the product that you sell will be on one page and there will be no recommendation from other store whatsoever. You can only see on the product that you pinned so that your customer can focus on your product instead. This can be really good if one, you have your own product or two, you are on Amazon affiliate program. You can put all of your affiliate product on the storefront and all of these product that are being sold on your store will solely go to your pocket and your customer will not be distracted by product from other brands. So this is one of the example. And as you can see, if you scroll down, they're going to show more product from your Amazon storefront instead of from other brand. And uh, let's try to take a look at another storefront. This is another storefront belonged to Liv. And you can see that she has some product categories that you can take a look at, as well as some content that she put. And let's say that I want to take a look at this product right here. And you can see all of the product that are inside of that categories. And if you scroll down, all that we see is just more product that Liv have on her Amazon storefront page. Now, there are two ways that you can do if you want to create a storefront. It's not necessarily an easy step, but you can always try it. The first one and the easier one is by joining Amazon Influencer Program. As you can see, this program is made for you who are quite active on social media and you like to sell your product through your social media, whether it's Amazon product or other affiliate marketing program that you're enrolled in. You can just build a storefront and then put all of your Amazon affiliate link on that storefront. And, and obviously before you do that, you will want to join on Amazon affiliate program. And one of the sign that you have already enrolled into Amazon affiliate program is by taking a look at this bar on top of your screen. You're going to be able to see the side stripe here where you're going to be able to get a special link that will give you commissions if this product is being sold to another customers and if they buy that product through this links right here. So go ahead and sign up to Amazon affiliate program first before you join in Amazon influencer program. So here are all of the things that you need to know if you want to join on this program. And I think one of the most important things you need to know is how 
can you be qualified for this program so it says here that amazon is going to accept application from all types of influencer provided on youtube instagram facebook or tiktok account if you are applying using an instagram or facebook account you are required to use a business account when reviewing your application they're going to look at the number of followers that you have in addition to other engagements metric so those are one of the things that you will have to know first you will have to use a business account instead of just a let's say a personal account and once you do that you might have the chance to be accepted to amazon influencer program and if you're sure that your page is good enough you can go ahead and click on sign up and then you can choose or whichever amazon account that you have let's say i'm just going to go with the existing one and then you can choose on whichever social media account that you would like to enroll to amazon influencer program and then you can sign up through here or you can also use your youtube tiktok or facebook just make sure that you have a good engagement as well as a good amount of followers on your social media so sometimes you might get rejected but don't worry you can always try to enroll again if you already have better engagement on your social media and yeah so that is one of the way on which you can create an amazon storefront by enrolling into amazon influencer program and the second way that you can do if you want to create an amazon storefront is by brand registry program so let's say that you have your own brand you create your own product you can use brand registry program to be able to create an amazon storefront go ahead to brandsurface.amazon.com slash brand registry and then you can sign in through there and register your brand to amazon obviously this one is a little bit more complicated because you're going to have legal documents for this in order to support your claim of your brand but this is also worth to try if you want to try and create your amazon storefront now in order to set up your amazon storefront here are some of the things that you can do first you're going to want to navigate to update your page so you can sign into amazon mobile app with email address you used to join the program and then tap the icon on the bottom that looks like a person scroll to the your account section and tap your storefront then you can tap edit my storefront then update your page and then you can update your profile photo as well as your cover photo to make it look more interesting and then you can add page title as well as add page tagline and save and this is what you can do if you are going to build your page through desktop basically it's quite the same the only difference is it's just your navigation is not going to be through the app but directly through the website and here are some of the tips if you want to build your amazon storefront it says that you can create a short vanity url for your page to make it more memorable and easier for your followers to access on the amazon mobile app open your storefront and tap edit storefront and then getting started and help and support select request new influencer handle from the top down then fill out the form and submit and that's basically it that is some of the things you need to know if you want to set up your amazon storefront and how you can set it up either through your phone or even through your desktop i hope this tutorial is helpful for you thank you so much for watching and have a great day